Yoshi. Yoshi. You did a Stay on. for a nigga? Uh-huh. Lost your kids for a nigga? Uh-huh. You said your grandmother had to go and get them? What happened? Bitch, you was better off just swallowing your kids. Uh-huh. Because they still ended up in the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on her. Stay on her. Oh, oh. Chill her. Yeah, it's like that tonight. It's like that tonight. Yoshi. Yoshi G. Yoshi. Yoshi. What the? Yo. <laughs> I wake up, start smoking a spliff, <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, see the ghost in this bitch, but I don't trust the soul, so the toaster's grip, the clip fly and. I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen to do. This shit is Bow, 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 bow. You already know what it is, man. It's your man, Vodafly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to every single one of y'all out there, the subscribers, that notification gang. You know, one day, I don't know what y'all got going on, but you know, it's probably paper. Hey, y'all y'all get into the money. I'm going to just assume that y'all get into the money. You know what I'm saying? It's your man, Vodafly. I know it's a lot of rapid reaction. Everybody got their own thoughts. Everybody's got their own. This is what happened. This is what happened. Listen, your opinion is just that. First and foremost, I always say that with every single battle. Battle battle rap is an opinionated sport. And people are going to feel how they feel about whatever battle, whatever situation. I got a couple things I want to talk about today. i uh, seen people online going back and forth talking about the Tate Rock versus Big K. The time, the time, the time, the time, the time. I ain't got time for bitches. Gotta keep my mind on my motherfucking riches. Even if I die, they won't worry me. Mama don't cry. Time, 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 right? Um, I do have my thoughts about it. Uh, I did recap the battle yesterday, and I gave my opinion with Showtime SPN. Shout out to everybody that watched the recap. The live recaps after the big battles are always parties. I'm going to always be there with Showtime SP. We're going to always play music. We may freestyle. That's just what we do. I don't understand how people come across, and it's like... Rush, 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 bro. Every time we do a big live after an event, it's a party. You know what I'm saying? It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. But the recap is there, and we did give our opinion on all of the battles and the event. Um, you don't want to. You don't want to party. Take your ass home. Uh, but shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to all of the different media. Everybody who was talking about it. Again, shout out to Frozen Bros for the great commentary. Uh, shout out to the hating ass blogger niggas that would try to put it, pit pit us to get against each other make us enemies oh we look what that money make a bitch do frozen bros is my man so we peep you hoe ass niggas from a mile away and we just nod our head and say salute and keep it moving you know what i'm saying because guess what i don't gotta be number five i ain't gotta be number eight i don't gotta be in the top two but if they don't call me for the pay-per-view they not calling you come on my so nigga <laughs> That's the thing. You never see any blogger that talk crazy. They don't get a call. They're not calling them niggas. You niggas is not entertaining. I don't hate you. I don't degrade you. And I didn't make you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But 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 hating on me and SP ain't going to get you nowhere. Where has it got you niggas the last couple years? Ask that question. All right. So moving right along. Tay Rock and Big K. Uh, big battle. I did not watch it again last night. Uh, we recapped it, then I went to sleep. I'll probably peep it again today. Uh, I did speak to Rock yesterday. That's what really the premise of this conversation is. Because I would, I, I, you know, if you know me like you think you do, the first thing I asked was, what the fuck was the times? Like, You're goddamn right. Like, what, dude? What's going on, my nigga? What was, how did y'all, what was going on with the battle? So we spoke, uh, I gave my opinion, he gave his opinion, you know what I'm saying? And basically, he was overprepared. He knew, you know what I'm saying, that he was going to go in there, it was a King of the Dot debut, and Rock was going to bring Rock rounds. His rounds was very long. I asked him about it. He was like, you don't rap that long by accident. Got that thing on me. I got that stick. I got that too. <laughs> I was like, nigga, was it by accident? Did you not know the time? What the fuck was going on? When you at the 825? <laughs> when you was at the 825, Mark, did you think for a second I might be doing a little too much? No. Um, so here's the deal. Like I said, the contracted time limit was 330s. 
uh, they didn't stop it. So what can I say? I'm not going to be the one that's going to be going crazy when the league and the league owner is standing right there. I said it on the live stream yesterday. Organic is standing there with a motherfucking phone in his hand. Nigga, what is you looking at? Your prize picks, your fan duel. What are you looking at? When most people would be, when they're doing the time thing, you're looking at the time. He ain't calling time, I ain't calling it either. Fuck it, it is what it is. I'm not calling time in a blog if a nigga ain't call it on stage. Fuck you want me to do? That's his shit. But I've seen other people allude to it, and I will say the same. I've saw it more than once. When they ask other league owners like Remy and other people are they going to call time, they're not calling it because they're not turning down no free battle or no free footage. Chris said it too, so like, shout out to him. I've heard, other, I've said the same thing though. I'm not turning down no free footage. Rock somewhere still rapping right now. <laughs> that nigga is somewhere still rapping right now. <laughs> so he went over there with the intention of overkill. And, you know, a lot of the polls and a lot of the people that I saw have him winning the battle regardless of how you guys will go about it. But like I said, I'm not here to argue nobody down. I ain't got time for all of that shit. Because guess what? I'm going to put the recap out or I'm going to say what I say and give my thoughts and humble opinion and people are going to watch it or they not at the end of the day. Next battle, next event, I move on. But uh, I did say my personal thoughts. I thought Big K's first round was good, but while good, I saw him have a better first, second, and third versus Murder Moot. His, all three of his rounds versus Murder Mook were better than his first versus Rock. That's just how I feel. I don't hate Big K. I had, he was my first guest on Fox. He was my first guest on Fox. So you can't hit me with that. I hate him. I don't hate him. And Rock was on there too. So, you know, I got no dog in the fight with either one of them. If, if Big K would have lost, I mean, if he would have, like, got smoked, I would have said it. I see people saying, oh, three, oh, three, oh, three. I get it. Cool. You can feel how you feel. I personally felt like Big K. I got him with the second. I got Rock with the first, and I got Rock with the third. You know what I'm saying? But Rock, yeah, the, the rounds was long. I love the Blue Room energy. Uh, Rock said that, you know, a lot of people were showing him love about the Blue Room looking shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was what it was. But as fans, we not going, we ain't got to argue and do it. Man, I ain't doing it. When have I done it with, when have I done it with any other battle? <laughs> I ain't doing it. Because, you know what I'm saying? It's not even worth me giving a fuck that much. And I ain't taking away from a great event. So, uh, with <laughs> basically, uh, when you look at it, it's going to be judged with an asterisk. If you judge it with all the material, and I know, like I said, I've seen everybody talk, oh, but when Swamp rap longer, when this person rap longer, that person, I don't give, I didn't give a fuck then. <laughs> How? I didn't give a fuck then, and I don't give a fuck now. Like, as long as niggas is rapping, is as long as they're getting judged for. Mook rapped for 45 minutes, and it was, but he, I think it was agreed to when the, when the ARP shit happened. We rapped for like for a half an hour, whatever the case may be. But, uh, overall, it was a very good weekend for battle rap. Like, that's the takeaway. That's my takeaway. Great weekend for battle rap. Uh, great media presence. Everybody, all the media was doing their thing. Great blogs was put out. Uh, you know, SP came by last night. Uh, it was a bunch of lives that was going on. ARP was live. They had like a thousand people in there. I'm like, oh, man, they got a thousand people. What the fuck am I going to do? Hey, man, B, go find him, B. Unless you like being broke, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go that way, man. That niggas don't seem to understand me out here. got a 500,000 subscriber channel. I was like, man, we might well pack this shit up. But... Shout out to my boy, uh, SP. He was like, nigga, we going live, motherfucker. I don't want to hear that shit. We going live. Dance. She like the way that I move. She like the way that I rock. So we went live, and <laughs> it was still like 1,500 people in there. Because, uh, you know, the gang, they show up. Them niggas was like, man, we here. Shout out to ARP, though. He did give um, a lot of props to myself, uh, Showtime SP, Froze, Black. And he was like, yo, if it ain't them niggas, if it ain't them niggas, don't call him for your pay-per-view because commentary is definitely a very important part of the pay-per-view. I've been saying this shit for the last couple years, and I know it's only a few people in the world that do it, so you probably don't understand, but it's very important. That shit could turn a battle rap event from store breaks in between battles to a movie. Like, the niggas who pitch that shit along and keep that shit moving. Like, you gotta show love. And a lot of the times, we be doing that shit for free or for the super low. Nigga. So please, don't try to make somebody an enemy or try to comp make a competition out of people who are just talking and having fun. 
If I was getting big money or some shit like that, that'd be a different story. But I guarantee you, most events that I do, I probably get paid least than any battler on the card. That shit needs to change. But that's another story. Um, but yeah, shout out to ARP for showing love, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do Max Out 4, nigga, if you want to do Max Out 4, let me know. I'm available. <laughs> Bros, you know, I'm sure they're available. We we can make a movie. <laughs> we can really make a movie. Let's let's do something. Let me know. I'm around. You had your people get in contact with my people. Uh, I got the office open from nine to six. We'll be open for a couple days this week, and I might go back on vacation next week. Who the fuck knows? You know what I'm saying? So shout out to that. Um, John, John, and Don, another phenomenal performance by the bullpen boss to be able to put the material that he put together for Sirius Jones in a couple weeks, then turn around and, and win to me. I, I watched it. I did. That was one I did watch because it's one of the top 10 battles of the year so far easily. And frack don't be losing battles. Frack do not be losing battles. He lost last night though. Just to me, just my personal opinion. I'm just saying personal opinion. I had it. Uh, I had the, I had the first and the third being a split, and I liked uh John John second being more than I liked Frax because I didn't like the angle that Frax took. That was just my personal opinion. I tweeted it while the battle was happening, so it's like I wasn't hating or none of that shit. And Frax, my man. So you know, I I just didn't like that that whole long drawn out angle about him being a wife beater and you know, that like it's like. And first of all, a nigga done dealt with that same angle about it. Golly, I got niggas. Come up with another fucking angle. Shit, the angles is too. The angles is overused, and it happens with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? They they use they'll find an angle that's been out there for like five, ten years, and they'll just build a whole round off of it. And we like nigga, heard it all before. Make it interesting. Make it interesting. You want to knock somebody out like John John? You got to knock him out. It's just my personal opinion. You have to knock him out. Um. Elijah Strait versus Danny Myers. I got to watch that again so I can figure out who won that battle because I don't know. I said the Desi Spray. I was watching the event. Do you believe in a parallel universe? I do. Back to that. The Desi Spray. I was watching Elijah Strait versus Danny Myers and somehow I wound up in the event from yesterday. I don't know what the fuck happened. My pay-per-view kicked me back 12 hours. So I didn't see the whole battle, but I know Danny was very aggressive. He was on him. Get on him. Get on him. Dunces, you'll never be the sixth man. Oh. You gotta show me proof you belong in here like a wristband. No. No, no, Danny, that's not even necessary, my boy. You ain't got to do all that, man. We gonna, nah, no, no, no. Yo, what is going on? I'm posting clips, you know what I'm saying, uh, of the battle event and the things that went down. But um, shout out to King of the Dot. Uh, K O T D T V dot com. You know what I'm saying? The, um, the the pay per view is there. If you want to um go back and cop the joint, like I said, I was thoroughly entertained for the whole weekend. Uh, real deal, great performance. A Ward, great performance. Um, shout out to A Ward. Uh, phenomenal. I thought he did remarkable versus the Saurus. You know what I'm saying? Uh. It was it was the Saurus though. I'm gonna be honest with you, it definitely was. But that doesn't take away from nothing that A Ward did, cause the Saurus is a legend. You know what I'm saying? In his own right, freestyle legend. He been around. He did shit with Ill Mac and all that back in the days. Woo -de -woo -de -woo. But the way this game is being played and the level of work that's going on right now, these kids is active. To put the to put the pa 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 they bombing. You know what I'm saying? So the Saurus was kind of outmatched and outclassed versus uh, A Ward. But I look at the material, and I look at the performance, and I look what he was able to do. And, uh, yeah, I was one of the ones that said A-Ward don't beat white people because, you know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. I want to address that real quick. Did he did he, did he, he get past that narrative? I was going back and forth with people all day. He's trying to say, oh, you pushing narrative. I'm like, okay. I had A-Ward losing to Frack. I had A-Ward losing to Real Deal. I had A-Ward losing to, uh, what's the motherfucking name? Ilmac. I had A-Ward losing to Mad Flex. I, can, I had like five or six people. He beats the Saurus great that doesn't change the narrative he won it was great and it, you know i feel like he does good but a lot of against a lot of competition and i might be missing a white person in there i don't know but that's just the way it, the, the narrative had built they act like sometimes fans act like we just wake up one day and just hate on someone to make it a narrative no nigga it don't work like that shit happens and then i compared it to uh the Miami Dolphins not winning in cold weather games. If they go and beat Buffalo one time this year, that doesn't change the narrative that they don't win in cold weather games. That's all I'm saying. Yoshi. Yoshi. You did a Stay for a nigga? Uh -huh. My shit kids for a nigga? Uh-huh. You said your grandmother had to go and get them? What happened? 
Bitch, you was better off just swallowing your kids. Uh -huh. Cause they still ended up in the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on her. Stay on her. Oh, oh, chill on yeah, it's like that tonight. It's like that Yoshi. tonight. Yoshi G. Yoshi. Yoshi, what the yo? <laughs> yo! Yoshi. Now listen. Shea Rag whooped that ass. Shea Rag whooped that ass. Whooped that ass, that ass. She whooped that ass. <laughs> you cannot. Now listen, I know you're getting your money on OnlyFans. You got the Yiddies done. You got them things sitting up like the kids on the first day back to school and all of that. I get it. You done cleaned up your image. You know? You said you got the, the, the 30 plus. It don't even hit the same. Oh, wee. Look what that money make a bitch do. I'm pretty sure it don't. But uh, you're going to have to rap right. You, the raps are going to have to equal up. Because now you came in, you had the bars, you had the controversy, with the, with the, you done moved on, you done elevated, you got your shit together. But the bars going to have to match. Because Shea Wright should not be coming in there as a relative, pretty much newcomer, and kicking your ass from Boston all the way back to Seattle or Washington or wherever you live on the West Coast. I don't even think you flew back. I don't think you took a plane home. I think you got flown home. <laughs> I fucked with you, Yoshi, but um, nah, man, that, that 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 last night wasn't it, man. And there was a lot of other people that did good, but uh, yeah, Forty's got a couple more battles coming up. She's got a battle twerk. She's got a battle Av. I don't know what the fuck she thinks she's doing. She ain't she ain't beating them. <laughs> you ain't beating them. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good luck. A couple of y'all might want to look into uh, some other shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all might want to clips. You might want to look into some other shit. You talking about you trying to go on a run next year. A run? Nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, a run? What run are you going on? What run is you going on, my nigga? You ain't going on no motherfucking run. And you paying for your battles, nigga. Get out of here. <laughs> and y'all let him sit up there. Clips my man, but y'all let that nigga sit up there talking about, I got so much going on. Stop the cap. <laughs> No bullshit. You know, I had a couple battles, a couple hostings, and I just had a son. My nigga, you almost 40. <laughs> we all got kids. <laughs> you knew you was having a kid when you took that battle. I ain't giving you no break. Clips my man, but ain't no way in hell. I ain't giving him a pass on that. Hell no. Real Sick deserves better. Because Real Sick wants names. He's chasing names. He's trying to get to the bigger platforms and shit like that. And you putting out bad content with that nigga. That ain't no good content. That battle was not good content. I don't care who sat up there and said, yo, you y'all y'all had a good second. You had a good nigga. That was not good content coming off the easy battle. That was bad work. That was bad work that you put out there. And then, you know, I could tell when you ain't ready for no battle. This nigga came there dressed like I am to go to the gym right now. Nigga just threw on anything. <laughs> <laughs> nigga throw on and you can tell when a nigga ain't got no shape up nigga clothes look like he just got out of the, got him out the washing machine and got dressed in the dark you ain't slick my nigga but uh someone will pay you someone will pay you they will they will because a lot of these leagues you know they they they're they gonna pay you you got a name you got a brand so they're gonna pay you but uh, that was bad work that you put up, Burst Real Sick. Real fucking bad work. But shout out to all of the subscribers out there. Shout out to the people that rock with myself and Showtime SP. You know what I'm saying? And watch our recaps, push the numbers up, and inspire the niggas who be hating on us and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all it be. They just look at the numbers and be like, God damn. Niggas on vacation for a whole week <laughs> and came back. And bam, right again. So, you know, don't pay them guys who be doing that shit too much attention. You know what I'm saying? Because I won't either. You know what I'm saying? But I address it because so many people be hitting me up to tell me about it. I'm like, man, I ain't worried about them whole ass niggas. Y'all weren't, y'all wasn't watching them last year. <laughs> and you're not going to watch them next. I'm out this bitch. Time to work out. Gang. <laughs>
that's what I happen to do This shit is verbal life skills, I ain't just rapping to you